My first guest is a world-renowned five-time Grammy award-winning recording artist. Get that big mouthful. And last year, she made the New York Times bestseller list with her first children's book about her lovable bulldog, Noelle. And now she and Noelle are back with a new book. And this gorgeous book, Noelle's Treasure Tale, a new magically mysterious adventure, um, is, on, is in the bookstores right now. And please welcome back to the show, Gloria Estefan. <laughs> <laughs> now, you, now, how do you have rings that don't go around your fingers? Uh, they do. They go around the back of my fingers. Oh, See very pretty. A friend of mine gave me this from Wow, Beirut. very fancy. Isn't that lovely? Yeah. Lovely. Love See, I'm just, bling just <laughs> attracts me. I don't know why. Yeah, your eyes went right but there. They, they did. Well, it was so odd because they yeah. don't come around. They float. They're Can you use your hands? Hand. Like, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Much. Fantastic. I could play the piano if I could wow. play the piano. <laughs> <laughs> now, yesterday you were on your way to New Jersey. I was for book a, signing. Yeah, to what town? Ridgewood. Ridgewood, beautiful which is town. right across the beautiful George town. Washington Bridge, and it was a beautiful day. Gorgeous day. So what happened? So uh, we've had a few mishaps on this book tour, and uh, we'd had one the previous day going to Long Island where one of the tires on my limo was smoking and we had to pull over to the Whole Foods Market. <laughs> Thank God it was a Whole Foods Market. Oh. We had a little snack. <laughs> They're one of our waited. sponsors. Do you know that? Really? No, oh, I didn't they know. give us all the food for well, this show, all the preparation, the most fabulous market, right around the corner Fantastic. from our studio. So we had to grab a cab there. So then uh, we're going to Jersey and I'm thinking, what a beautiful day. Everything's perfect. We're perfect timing and everything stops. Traffic stopped and we're waiting and waiting and waiting and nothing's happening. People are getting out and we sent a scout up ahead and apparently there was a kind of a bomb scare at the oh, toll and they oh. shut down the bridge so they're going this and leave you on the bridge so yes, that if we were there were the a bomb scare guess what would have happened exactly yes you would be so it's better to get out of the car and walk Most right definitely so i did i kind of <laughs> hop oh there we go oh there you go they caught a picture of me hopping over the guardrail oh and we walked and caught another cab to oh. the book signing and made it just a little bit late uh but people were very understanding. It was of very course. nice. Well, you know what? It was a good day for a walk. It's yes, good exercise. It's I saw the leaves and, turning. And thank heavens nothing was wrong yes, on the bridge because that is a beautiful bridge. Just a scare. So uh, I was happy to at least uh, not be too late for my fans. They were so <laughs> nice. They were around the block and... What so happened to it. the three dogs that you adopted? Oh last time, um, uh, last time Gloria was on the show, she adopted three dogs, which were rescued from the uh, Hurricane Katrina. Exactly. And, um, and I was They're so happy fabulous. that you took them home. Where are they? Well, one of them went with my sister. That's Moose, my nephew. She adores him. These are. Puma and Aww. Sushi, and they're, uh, they're not only little, you know, they're dachshund mix, but according to my niece, they also are part rabbit because they jump up on top of everything. <laughs> they're very happy. They're extremely happy, and my sister is over the top with Moose. We couldn't get a picture of him in time, oh, and, oh. but he had a little birthday hat on. They were one year old on my son's birthday, September 2nd. So That's it was so nice. very nice. Well, thank you very much for doing we that. Loved and, we loved and, them. Uh, and I was at the SPCA uh, dinner dance the other night with my dogs, and uh, there were dogs for adoption there, too. That, oh, yeah, they're so so fun. Well, congratulations, not only thank on you. your first book, but now on your second book. This is a charming book. Now, you did not do the illustrations. Oh, no, I wish. Uh, <laughs> no. wish I could do that. I'm not as and, crafty and here's as you. The, where, is your, where is your dog? Oh, she stayed in Miami. Oh, I thought I, you brought I her couldn't. with you. I couldn't ah. because I was doing a whole week of promotion, so I wasn't going to leave her in the hotel alone no but, but she should have gone on all the book she's put on a little weight you know oh. the diva hood <laughs> so she's too lazy you now she just lays around and oh. eats doggy bonbons and oh. lays in bed well anyway this is a very nice but why don't you tell us a little I bit will. about the um about the story because each of uh of the, of the two books really do teach uh morals and ethics and uh, they have a nice story. I, yes. I like to blend in a little you know positive thing for kids and yeah. they don't even know that they're uh, getting a little lesson but uh noelle's first venture in reality after she came out of the hospital because she almost died when she came from Colombia. was to the treasure coast we have a home a vacation home right on the beach a couple hours uh, north of miami so this is based a lot on on reality the things that noelle experienced there and she loved it so uh noelle goes on a treasure hunt because she found out that the treasure coast is called that because 11 galleons went down in the 1700s three of which have not been found and they were fully loaded with treasure mm. so we're often out there with metal detectors <laughs> just in case you know last year they found a five million dollar rosary in 15 feet of water so oh. put on my scuba gear too and get in there <laughs> 
So it's about, uh, she goes looking for a treasure, but she finds a treasure far more important than the gold. And uh, it's about friendship and working in community and the value of life. That's what it's well, about. It's so very nice. And, Thank uh, you so much. And you've just released, on top of a book, even for me, more important, because I get to ride in my car and listen, <laughs> The Essentials, uh, Gloria Estefan. Now, this is fantastic. Thank you so much. It's almost 40 songs on the CD. We did something unique. It's the first two CD set we've done, and one CD is all fast, and in case you want to clean your house or, you know, some health activity. <laughs> and then the other one is all slow, in case you want to cry and get depressed or get romantic. <laughs> You know, it's got something for everyone. Depending on our moods, it's depending on your we mood. have it all Most here. Definitely. But it's nice, 20 years of music. It's right fantastic. Well, when we come back, Lori and I are going to show how to make a great candy dispenser for your Halloween treats. We'll be right back. We're back with Gloria Estefan, and she loves Halloween as much Lovely. as I do. Yes. Do you do a big thing at your house? Uh, not at the house, but we always, it's my favorite holiday because I dress up, nobody recognizes me. What, do you, as as what, do you, talk. what are you dressing up this year as? Uh, I haven't decided this year, but last year I was this punk goth thing. I was uh, all pierced <laughs> and tattooed and straight black bangs, very pale makeup. I loved fabulous. it. I loved it. It was well, I, I don't know what I'm going to be either. We have a big surprise coming up on Halloween. We can't, we can't reveal. Cannot divulge. No. So, but we wanted to make something really cute for, for Gloria's Halloween, and she's going to have this on her, on her front steps definitely. where the kids They'll come in. They'll probably steal it, though. Oh, they will. They'll they come on TV. They're gonna They'll first definitely TV. steal it. But this is a little candy dispenser. So you sit it in a tray full of candy and put a lot of candy, put the more valuable candy inside. So anybody who's bold enough to stick their hand in there without getting caught in a mouse trap. You could put mouse traps in there. Exactly. <laughs> or Don't get any bad TV. ideas. That's no, a terrible no, idea. We wouldn't do that. Um, it's oh, very, it's actually one. very easy to make. It's like uh, paper mache. Okay. And you have uh, a this balloon. This is not decoupage. Uh, well, it is sort of. Yes. You know, the little bit of decoupage. Because I just love saying decoupage. Is, yes, it's going to, a little <laughs> decoupage is going to happen in a little while. Okay. But this is a balloon. And then, um, and then you take because the inside of this thing is going to be uh, a beautiful red, reddish orange color. You start with, and this is just glue. It's a typical, typical paper mache glue, kind right? of stuff. And you mm. glue this uh, tissue paper onto the balloon, two layers of the orange, uh, orangey, pinkish, reddish, whatever this is, then a couple layers of newspaper, again, cut in strips. This will be on top of the, um, the pink, balloon. orange, and then cover it with black tissue paper. So all the steps are right here. Here's the, the red, the newspaper, and the black. All tissue paper and newspaper. Very, very easy. Now we can <laughs> get says. to, yes, I say. No, it is, and it's just take your, take your time with My craft My sister projects. says I'm not crafty. So here is the balloon. The template, and this is the mouth already cut out, the template is on MarthaStewart.com. I hope you are all using these templates. These are invaluable. You just print yes. it right yes. out. And, um, and this is so, so cute. Every, and you can enlarge it for the size of your, um, of your candy dispenser. Then with an X-Acto knife, cut out the mouth, the shape of the template. Then use that, reserve that. See how it is? That's fantastic. And trace the ears. And then you just cut the ears out with a pair of scissors. You don't have to do this because we've also already make a Halloween costume. Yeah, <laughs> you can, and just cut the cut the ears out. They're already we have them cut out for you already, and we're using different colors of this uh, of this wonderful duct tape. You know, duct tape now comes in lots of colors. So get yourself some red and some black, and you apply the ears right to oh, the. Um, here, how are you going to do it? Just put them where you think ears would go on a cat. On the head, usually. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Somewhere, somewhere, somewhere above the mouth, like okay. that. See how cute? Very cute. And then you can apply uh, a little uh, more of the tissue paper to cover over that duct tape if it bothers you. Oh, now we're getting In the dark, yeah, I know. See, it gets a little complicated. That's the Martha Stewart way. You do <laughs> not have to put the black tissue paper there. It would be nice. But, yeah, you can just apply that. And uh, since it won't dry in time... Way. What, excuse me? I don't see you gluing over there. Where's oh, no, the I, no, I just, here's the glue right okay. here. But you don't, you don't have to do that right, right. now. Right. Then the eyes go on. So here are, here are the eyes cut out of white construction mm -hmm. paper and a little bit of black paper. You do that so well. Uh, just apply the glue on the back. I used to love to apply it on my hands and peel it off when I was in school. <laughs> you never did that? 
You know you did that. What did you do? You didn't. You put it on the palm of your hand, like in a really thin coat. Yeah. And then you peel it off. And oh. it has your handprint on it. Oh, lovely. Isn't it? <laughs> See, I never did that, but that wasn't this kind of glue. My eye is it not had to be the rubber, the rubber cement kind of glue? No, just like this, this glue. This kind? Yeah, this oh, glue. It okay. tries. Elmer's? Elmer's, Okay, yes. so you can do your whole face if you want, and then you can get well, a mask. Okay. But then you're I'm giving all kinds of, of really, really bad ideas. Waxing. I'm going to be in a lot of trouble after today's show. It's going to be waxing. Really right? bad. My eye is not sitting well on my couch. Okay, well, you have to try, and then, then you put a little bit of the glue over, over the eyes, too, just to decou... This is decoupage. So okay. you asked about decoupage, then you put the glue. It dries clear. And why are we putting glue over the eyes? Well, just, some, just to shine it up a little oh, bit. Okay. And that will dry clear, okay? Right. Then mm -hmm. you have the mouth, which is cut out of the template too. These are the teeth. And it's, there's some red, red duct tape, so it looks red on the inside. Okay, so put the, put the fangs. If you make them out of metal, see then the people scar will really here? See the scar here? here? This was, this was my, one of my cat's fangs. It went right through this way when I, when I gave my cat a bath Your last week. Your cat bit you? Oh, yes. They always, and when I give them baths, they, they, they tend to bite. Well, the jacuzzi was a little much, if you ask me. <laughs> Shouldn't they, have done that. No. And then... Okay. Fangs. Oh, these look good. Yeah, aren't they cute? Uh oh no. It's really working. Oh. Now, I know why my sister says I'm not crafty. Let me see. Because, well, I had to move it. I had to move the teeth. Turn yours around so people can see. Well, it's, it's getting there. It's now, getting there. Now, the whiskers. Oh, don't forget. Don't forget the nose. Don't forget the nose. We have to for, don't forget the little, no. the little nostrils. They're white, too. Okay. Okay. I see the end of your tape on those fangs. Hmm. <laughs> I'll trim that off. Hmm. Figures. Do not get into a decoupage con contest with Martha Stewart. <laughs> you will lose. Where are my there. nostrils? See, so you can just snip. Oh, That's a little fang. You can <laughs> count that See, as a little mess, fang. See, major mess. What is going on? Where? Here on me. It's hard. It's, this it's is not, not easy. And notice how we have covered the table with brown paper, Gloria? Good idea. Yeah, because then we don't, we don't uh, mess everything. up the dining room table. Where do you do your craft projects? Do you have a craft room? <laughs> Yeah, I have a craft room. You do? It's called my sister's house. Oh. <laughs> she does it for me. Oh. She's very crafty, my sister. Oh, so now the whiskers, what I'm doing is gluing a piece of, see this? Uh -huh. This is a piece of black tissue paper. Okay. And Come you, over here. then you twist it. It's filled with, filled with glue and well, you why? twist it. Well, why? We already it. have them made right here. I know, but <laughs> I just want to show how like to make it. it. So just twist this and it stiffens like a piece of, uh, almost like a piece of wire. Who invented all this stuff? These are, these are called craft projects, and they are made by the, the craft elves that work at Martha Stewart Living and Martha Stewart Television. And uh, we have, you know, Halloween is our big holiday. We really love Halloween. Uh, Me too. I all, our, all the holidays. Although and then let this... I made a whole solar system out of paper machine. You did? Oh, yeah. fantastic. Well, me in the class. Where is it? Do you have it still? No. Oh. It was in South Carolina. So there's a whisker. We have our whiskers already fabricated, and so you put three on each side. Dip. Yeah, just dip that in. Okay. And See, I figured that, that out. Dipping. Put that on here. Okay. You might have to hold it for a while. So we, we're going to be here for a while. Now, what about your <laughs> restaurants? Well, the restaurants are doing great. Yes. Uh, you have how many? We have, well, at this point, almost seven because we opened two little mini ones in the Mexican airports in uh, Mexico City and one in Puerto Vallarta. Oh, really? Mini bongos, bonguitos, they're called. Oh. This is not working. And... Uh, we have one in Disney, as you know, Bongo's there, and three in Miami. I want to. I, have, I haven't well. been to Florida since the last time I saw you, but you I will be coming. Oh, I want to. I love Florida. We'll give you Cuban there. food. There, see, look, there goes that. Oh, I've... and it is the cutest thing, glorious. We'll be standing here for the next 15 minutes or so, holding the whiskers. But there's the finished product. It is a really cute project to do with your kids or for yourself. Gloria's new CD and children's books are in the stores right now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.